I will walk you through how to run this particular file. So in Tech UI, the folder, there's always two folders. Then you go to the flow, you go to the create small folders. So let's say I'm interested to know what is the path here. Press alternate and then right click and then copy path. Then you run your command line or terminal cd change directory to that place and then you copy this particular line here which is tech ui followed by the file name with all the instructions here and then you run it through the database uh, one data at a line at, at a time so you paste it this way it will run the command and you will launch its own tech ui browser so it's going through iteration number one you will try to click on the SLS and then followed by locking in. Once it is inside, you can see that it will unpublish the lesson. And then it will try to find the tag at the module. And then it will stop here for the human to come in to do the necessary tagging. So as a human, I will now need to do this so it's, it's less painful so let's say I think it's math I think it's primary one then I select my own content map and then followed by the LO for the purpose of the demonstration I will not do it I will just close this so let's say you have done the tagging already which we have we have done tagging for the bio h1 it's all tagged already so I'm just going to ignore it and then I'm just going to click to let the tag UI continue, you type done when you're done and then tag UI will continue to save, publish the lesson again. Okay, so this is the end of the complete flow. I will stop here because uh, there is no point running through the entire script here. But essentially, you can see that it is working. Now, how did it manage to run through the database so the database is this file called crawl database biology crawl so is this file you double click on it you will see that this is a previously crawled out from another tech ui file so it has all the results that you want which is uh, the title uh, most importantly is the the link which is the url and then followed by all this other information that allows Tech UI to run through. So this is I. So you can see there's an I here. There's a title here. So I just need to echo out all this status and links. So the first row here is the variable name for Tech UI. So if you put I here, uh, then it will be looking for I uh, subsequently in this particular uh, row then it will look for title and all that so then it will run through so this is the first time that it runs through the iteration it will run through and lock in to SLS for the first time then subsequently it will not lock in anymore because if iteration equal to 1 then it, it does it because then iteration is 2 then it's still lock in so we will not do that so it will wait for 3 seconds you will do some full editable URL to take the URL from this particular link and then pass it through so that Tech UI can pass out the correct URL to visit. Then you will click on the unpublish, click on the OK, then click on the open and then you will in the new pop-up of the which this then this actually pops up a new tab for the lesson. So in this this command means pop-up lesson with this particular URL then you will try to click on the, the pencil you will click on the cut action you will click on the add module and then it will then calculate the number of counts of which this occur and then this is called the number of existing lesson tag uh, because i need to calculate and know this in order to click correctly then i will echo the variable that has been detected through this count then i will do a javascript for the number start tag and then I change it to a number then plus one then I will stop here because this part here is where the human needs to come in because it is too complicated to do this uh, automatically so I decided that it should be done by the human 
Then once the human is done, then you can click done and then it will continue to close up the add module, save and then check on this other circle and then approve it and then it will close the window and then after that you will go back up again.